with pieces of songs and stuff, but I um, I made up my record when I was made with Evan as well back in 2002 and 2003. And uh, he did a great job. He really did. And uh, we went into that process with, like I don't know, close to four songs finished maybe. This we had maybe a few more than that, but... Um, it sort of scared the bejesus, bejesus out of us both times, but there's something so exciting about kind of creating and just letting it be and not overthinking. And uh, I was kind of jet lagged being out in Washington State, and so the first couple of days that I was there, I was madly writing. I'd get up at like five in the morning, and he and his wife would be sleeping not too far from me, and I'd be like, "Shit, I want to write a song, but I have to be really, really quiet." And um, so I'd write the song kind of in my head and kind of like miming it on the guitar, and then finally I'd hear his wife kind of banging around in the kitchen making the most amazing cup of coffee I've ever had in my life. Um, and uh, that's how she shows her love. And uh, and then I would come down and I'd play it for his wife, Megan, who's an incredible songwriter, and she would bounce it around and then I'd go back up in, in my, with my PJ thon and sit in my bed and, and finish the song and then we'd record it that day. And um, it was sort of a terrifying, exhilarating, awesome process. And. Uh, Evan is the person who makes me feel like I can do that. He's like, I'm going to need you to write four more songs by Monday. And I'm like, I hate you. <laughs> and then... And then you do it. And then I... <laughs> it was amazing. Because you made me feel like I could. And uh, this one was one of those sort of... This was like the perfect example of that process, I suppose. So this is called Something Out of Nothing. It's oh, an appropriate name. <laughs> we so tired, we just need sleep, I know, I'm still storming, and I can't let it go, so I'll keep you up when you have nothing left, I just want you to hold I am 
Oh, I always do.